20 years ago, before I ever started F-Stoppers, I was a professional real estate photographer. I have seen it and done it all when it comes to shooting, lighting, editing, delivering files. And I can tell you the worst part of running a real estate photography business is the editing and the delivery of the files. That is where you will spend the most time. And the owner and creator of the software Fotello just reached out to me. He wanted to sponsor a video where I test out his software that claims to do all of the editing and all of the delivery automatically. Not only that, but he claims that I could flash the room if I wanted to, but it's no longer necessary. His software is so good that I just have to upload three to five brackets and his program will do the rest. This sounds absurd and way too good to be true. Let's test it out. Now, I've been playing with this software a little bit. It is so incredible. I'm not even sure we need professional cameras anymore. And so I'm going to test that live right now. I'm going to shoot with my pro gear. I'm also going to do the exact same shots with my iPhone. The only thing that we need is a tripod and the ability to bracket. On my pro camera here, I'm shooting just three images, one correctly exposed, one two stops overexposed and one two stops underexposed. All right, I've got my shot framed up here. I am literally in P mode. I have automatic white balance on. I am shooting in raw. And like I said, three exposure brackets. Let's take a picture. I also have a two second delay so there's no camera shake and we are done. Let's do the exact same shot with the iPhone. I'm in between lenses or cameras here. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit so that I can use my main camera, which is better and bracketing is not an option in the normal app. I am using the pro camera app. We're done, let's move to the next shot. In the past, getting multiple shots of one room was such a pain in the butt, especially if you were doing lighting. With this, it's literally like an extra 10 seconds. I don't have to worry about lighting. I don't have to worry about my vertical lines. All that's going to be fixed. I literally just point and shoot. All right, I'm now in the kitchen and in the past, I would spend so much time worrying about the perfect framing now just shoot wider than you need to, and you can always crop in and post. So I'm just zooming out all the way here, and uh, let's take the shot. I got to talk to the creator of this software, and I asked, should I leave the lights on or turn them off? And he said, either way, you're gonna get good results either way. So here I've got the lights on. Let's take a shot. For this shot on the iPhone, I'm gonna zoom all the way out to the ultra wide lens, which is a noticeably lower quality image. So let's see how it does. All right, now let's get the dining room on the iPhone. All done. All right, so I've transferred the photos to my computer. I now go to photello.co. I create an account and I click on new listing. Here, I simply drag and drop either JPEGs or RAW files right onto the web page here. And in the upper left, we can change the listing name. Usually it would be the address of the property. Now, once you click enhance, it's gonna start working in the background to edit your photos. And I've been getting very different results in the amount of time this takes. With my iPhone pictures, it was very quick. I'd say under two minutes. With the RAW files I've been testing, I think it was closer to 10 minutes for six images. The nice thing is that while this is editing in the background, we can either up upload more assets for this property, for example, videos, virtual tours, or floor plans, or we can upload completely separate properties and get them all running at the exact same time. Once the moving circles on each of the thumbnails stops moving, those images are done, and you can click on them to see them large and make further adjustments. Now, my first impression here, I am blown away by these results. If you're not a real estate photographer, if you've never tried to do this before, you may not realize just how impressive this is. I cannot imagine how long it would take me to get a file to look like this manually in Photoshop. Let's quickly compare it to the iPhone shot here. I'm definitely seeing some weird blown highlights on the iPhone shot, and that's just, you know, the crappy small sensor on the iPhone camera. However, this file still looks better than 99% of house listing photos that I've seen. And something else that actually looks better on this iPhone shot, I've got a frame TV on the wall back there. And uh, depending on your shutter speed or whatever, it might flicker. And uh, it looks perfect in the iPhone shot. And in the shot with my pro camera, it is black. So that fact alone might push you towards the iPhone picture is actually a superior shot. Just to quickly show you what we can edit here, we can create our own profiles or quickly jump between these. We can come down here 
to normal exposure, contrast, color, tone, all this stuff. So if we wanted to make it brighter or whatever, we can easily do that right there. We have the ability to crop the image. So if we wanna make it 16 by nine, we can easily do that and just move our frame around. Now, if you look at the original shot, you'll see just how wonky my vertical lines are. They are perfect in this edited shot. And that is because we have auto perspective correction turned on. Next, you'll see personalized TV screens. Now, normally you're not gonna have a plant in front of the TV. And this software does an amazing job of recognizing televisions and either putting your own personal image in there. You could put your business name if you wanted to, or you could put your own image if you wanted to, or maybe an exterior shot of the house on the TV screen if you wanted to, or you can add a black gradient to the screen, which looks really nice. It removes those reflections, or they have their own photos that you can add as well. Now, because my TV has a plant in front of it, the software doesn't recognize that as a TV. And so that would be something normally that I would have to go in and edit myself and I'd have to mask out that plant. However, the other incredible part of this software is that if you just slide down here, did the AI make a mistake? You can just write in whatever you want in that box and a human will fix the problem for you completely for free. It's included in the price. And not only will they do that, but once you upload this entire project online, it's going to create a gallery. It will put watermarks all over your work until your client pays. They can pay through the portal. Fotello does not take any cut at all. So you get 100% of the money that comes through the website. Immediately once the client pays, they will have access to all of the high res files. But if they have a problem and they want anything edited, let's say there's a car in the driveway or hey, there's a dead spot in the grass, I really want that edited out. They just type it in their own box and some human somewhere else does it for you. Again, it is included in the cost. Absolutely game changing if you do this for a living. Let's quickly look at these other shots. Here's the same room just from a different angle and you can see this time because of the flicker on the TV, uh, the TV actually looks really good here. I feel like the iPhone shot looks amazing as well. Maybe just slight weirdness in the highlights on the plants and like weird highlight on this table right here. But I don't think the average person, especially a realtor, certainly somebody looking to buy a house would ever look at that or consider it. Again, this looks better than 95% of listing photos out there and it was taken with an iPhone. Here's a shot of the kitchen with my pro camera and the same shot with my phone. This time I'm really not even noticing too much of a problem with the highlights. That iPhone shot looks great. We're getting a little bit more contrast out of the iPhone shot. Uh, that's something that I could easily change if I wanted to right here in my pro shot, I can add contrast. But uh, again, both of these shots look amazing. Let's go to the next one. Pro camera, iPhone, they both look great. Pro camera, iPhone, pro camera, iPhone. I don't really like the crop. Let's change it to three by two here. And we'll do something like that. Pro camera, iPhone, pro camera, iPhone. I'm gonna bet some people watching this right now are gonna say the iPhone pictures look better, which is insane. And here's the final shot. Pro camera, iPhone, pro camera, iPhone. I cannot believe how good the iPhone photos look. <laughs> it's nuts, it's nuts. Now, so far we've only tested interior shots. Let's go outside and test exterior as well. All right, we are outside now and this is the worst time of day to be shooting exteriors. We have this house completely backlit. So this will be a nice stress test. So let's go ahead and take this shot here. All right, once again, to get wide enough, I'm using the ultra wide lens on this camera which is noticeably worse quality. Now, one of the most difficult and time consuming shots that every real estate photographer has to master is the dusk shot. So I'm gonna be testing that out as well. I'm gonna wait for the sun to set. I'm then going to turn on all the lights inside the house and see if we can take very similar brackets, but get a beautiful dusk shot automatically. All right, guys, I am back outside. It is dusk. I've turned all the lights on and uh, it's starting to look pretty good. Let's do another bracket. I am really expecting the iPhone to fail on this shot because I'm using the ultra wide lens, which is the worst in low light. And obviously we are in very low light right now, but let's test it out. 
Now the software automatically recognizes interior and exterior shots and edits them very differently. Uh, you'll see in the upper left hand corner up here, it says exterior. And if for some reason it got it wrong, you could click that and it would switch it back to interior, but it automatically recognized this image and it did an amazing job. I mean, it fixed all of the vertical lines. So the house looks very straight. It also cut out the sky and added a much prettier sky than what I had in real life, which was blown out and backlit. Now, I was also very excited to test these out with twilight shots. This is the first set of images that I shot here. This looks fantastic. And it cut out the sky, put a much more beautiful dusk shot behind the house. I love the way this looks. The iPhone photo is definitely struggling here. And you can see here, I have it set to signature when I shouldn't. I just wanted to show you what this looks like. If this is a twilight shot, you need to click the twilight button over here. And it's going to re-edit this shot, cut out the sky and put a twilight sky in the background instead. While this is processing, I'll mention two other things that I haven't before. There is a fireplace option. Usually when you're taking pictures of these homes, the fireplaces are off. And so you can add flames to a fireplace very easily. And if you happen to be shooting drone shots, you can drop aerial pins right down here and put places of interest or where the house is in relation to other parts of town. Uh, just super cool features. Let's take a look at this later iPhone shot here. It's not horrible, but man, you can really see just how crappy the ultra wide angle lens is on the iPhone. We just have no data at all. This looks like a smeary mess here. But once again, this is still better than what I normally see when it comes to listing photos. This is certainly better than no twilight photo at all. Once everything's done, I can click on the download button up here and it's going to download all of the files for us. I can click on the deliver button. And when I do that, I can create a listing page for all of the assets of this property. And I can either choose to watermark it and bill through this software. Or if somebody's already paid, I don't have to click that button and it's just ready for the client to download immediately. So you probably wanna know what their fee is. How much does this software cost? That was certainly one of my first questions. After I realized what this can do and how valuable it is, I thought, ah, oh, it's gonna be really expensive. And it doesn't have to be. If you just wanna test it out right now, it's totally for free. You can do three listings, it's view only, but you can create an account and test it on your own images, see if it's worth purchasing. I would highly suggest you do that anyway. The lowest normal tier includes five listings per month, and it works out to $16 per listing without twilight editing. And if you want the ultimate, which includes twilight editing, it's $18 per listing. If you've got a huge business and you're doing 100 listings per month, it goes down to 12 and $14. Now I got to talk to the owner and creator of this software and I said, look, I wish that you would have some sort of option for somebody like me who doesn't do this professionally anymore, but occasionally I do. I probably shoot five homes per year now. Either I'll be hired by somebody or I'll shoot a house for a friend or something. And I would love to be able to use this software, but I don't wanna pay for five a month when I only shoot five a year. And he said, okay, what I'm gonna do for you and F-stoppers, anybody watching this video is I'm going to create a plan where you prepay for five listings for $20 per listing. And those listings will not expire. So if you shoot two this year and three the next year, that's fine. It'll just cost $100. So that seems like a no brainer to me. If I could pay for this as I need it, $20 per listing, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how much time it saves and in all honesty, especially those interior shots, I feel like those are better than what I would come up with on my own, manually masking everything out in Photoshop. But like I say with all software, don't take my word for it, don't spend a dollar. Create a free account and test it out on your own. I guarantee you're gonna see the value here. And if you do decide to buy, use this coupon code to save some money.